later. And this is his son, Ian, 26 years on. In only his second season in the local game, he's established himself as a regular left back in Carrick's first team. Dad, now in his mid-50s, is obviously proud, but Ian realises that preserving the Bruce name and tradition is tough. Everybody knows him, and he's, he knows the game inside out. Everybody says, you know, if it turned out half the player he was, I wouldn't be a bad player. Indeed, Walter was a truly gifted and naturally skillful player. He signed for Glen Torn at the age of 16 after turning down the opportunity to become one of the Busby Babes of Manchester United. His playing career flourished at the Oval, youth international caps and then two full Northern Ireland caps followed. Walter was also a member of the famous Glen Torren side of the John Cole Rain era that so nearly beat Benfica in the European Cup. We've done extremely well against Benfica and uh, all the boys feel that we can do an even better job out there as we have now seen Benfica's strength and we hope to uh, do justice to Ulster football. Glen Torren certainly did and Walter's memories today are still as vivid. John Colrain being the man he was went to Benfica beforehand to us out the other team and when he met us at the airport he says they're a load of rubbish <laughs> he says we'll take these fellas apart and they so nearly did losing only on away goals and in that same year 1967 Walter signed for United States football club Detroit a sad moment leaving the oval after 14 years but a wonderful opportunity which was cut short through injury Walter though did return to the Glens as an influential midfield general and as a coach Looking back now, it was the sorriest thing I've done f for a long many a day to uh, give the, the third team job up because I, I truly enjoyed it and I didn't know how much we'd miss it until I'd left it for two or three months. Little involvement in football for Walter now, but he did win every honour in the Irish League except one. The family collection, though, was completed last year. I was very proud to be at the uh, Windsor to see him playing against Glen Torrent, actually, in the County Antrim Shield final. And... Uh, he picked up the only medal in local football that I never got. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's the best night in football for myself and I'm sure for quite a few of the other Carrick boys. But the, the atmosphere playing in the final, Harris. brilliant. The County Antrim victory, the pinnacle of Ian's Harris. career to date. Dad's allegiances that evening were naturally torn, but he's still full of praise. Oh, and I'm delighted, as a father would be, and uh, Ian is very keen. I'm just I'm sorry I'm, he's not playing for the Glens like. I'd rather him be there. Ah, you see, once a Glen man, always a Glen man. And Ian, here providing this long ball, does think the same. He started his playing career at the Oval in the youth team, and that's where he wants to return. Oh, I'd love to play for them again. It's the one club, it's, I always look for their result on a Saturday, and it's the one team I'd love to play for.